open as some of our... That's a damn phone again. Guys, will you shut up? I'm trying to do my intro. Jeez, no consideration whatsoever. Hi guys, Fernby with you and welcome to 15 Minute Makeover here in Car Mechanic 2015. It's great to have your company. Now what we'll be doing today is, as I said, a 15 minute makeover on this uh, Bolt Reptilia. Uh, we just finished doing an episode on, a, on, on another car. I thought we'd bowl over this uh, Reptilia as well. I've taken the liberty of, of running it through the, uh, the test path already and when it has given us some of our... That's a damn phone again. Guys, will you shut up? I'm trying to do my intro. Jeez, no consideration whatsoever. Um, as I was saying, I have run it through the t t test path already, and it has given us some parts that we've already discovered. There's got a whole bunch of parts that we still yet to be discovered. So we might just run down the list. Actually, it's quite a quite a decent sized job, this particular one. Magic number 58%, so we'll need to keep that in mind when we do go looking for these, for these parts. Uh, running gear, so we'll just pop that up. We'll and uh, get all this uh, running gear stuff off first and uh, we should be able to find most of them should be find out be able to find all of them in fact and uh, you can see straight off the bat is that that gearbox is looking a bit sad for itself over there so let's look at this running gear um, stuff just a reminder while I'm taking these parts off, if you do enjoy your car mechanic then uh, pop over to my channel there's a, a whole bunch of car mechanic stuff over there Uh, whether it's the uh, the restorations you like doing, uh, like seeing, or uh, the um, makeovers that you like seeing, there's uh, a whole bunch over there. I'm just trying to work out where we need to where we need to go. 26%. He certainly needs to come out. A bunch of stuff down the back there. All I've done, as you can see, there is, is press uh, the number three key, and actually it goes into examination mode and. Uh, clearly highlight some of the bits and bobs that we need to need to get out nope, need to get back in there okay so these uh, spring shocky needs to come out so that we can actually get to this uh, bottom suspension arm because he's, uh, he's uh, knackered as well in a tie rod Can we examine him? We can examine him at 20%, so he will need to come out. So add a tie rod first, and then in a tie rod to come out like so. Do exactly the same thing on the other side. Um, often if one side's rooted, then the other side's uh, not too healthy at all. So never hurts just to... Uh, well, that's, uh, that bottom suspension arm is, is looking pretty, pretty good, doesn't it? Uh, although that sway bar isn't. Okay, so we've got a bit of bit of stuff we've got to pull off here. The brake components, obviously. Front wheel hub again. I think we did two front wheel hubs on the on the last on the last repair. If my memory serves me correctly. Uh, yeah, just chime in, guys, if I've uh, if I've got that wrong. stands out from here all right well let's pop down to the rear end and uh, get some of these brake components out here so at the moment we're looking for brake components and uh, running gear Ugh. that looks a bit uh, a bit nasty doesn't it and we're, we're certainly gonna have to pull all those all those parts out and and, uh, and look at those and especially if we've got a 58 percent uh, magic number so you can pretty well guess that uh, just by the colorization of, of those parts that um, they are all going to be need to be pulled out and uh, and looked at as 21 percent what about this uh, leaf spring plate no he's going to be okay but we do need to take all those out just so we can get that rear axle out so just in the process of, of elimination of course we actually need to take that drive shaft off too if we're going to take that rear axle off so 
four bolts at the back here on that uh, on that drive shaft. Well, we need to have taken it out anyway, so we can get to the uh, the clutch components, uh, the gearbox components rather. Do, 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 do. Spin around this other side. So I mentioned in the last episode, guys, and um, if you're into your car mechanic and you'd like to see something in, in particular, then uh, yeah, just give us a shout out in the in the comments section. Let me know if you'd like to see anything in particular whether you like the uh, the restoration series or whether you like the repair series in particular let's get that plate off the rubber bushing or if there's in fact any of the other cars that uh, you've got stuck on then uh, i've uh, actually got stuck on a number of cars in the past and uh, uh, to a point where we've actually had to actually google the answers so um, some of them are a little bit tricky so but don't be shy to to chime in and let me know uh, where you've got stuck in fact where you know uh, if you in fact have got stuck we should be able to reach we do that starter and uh, yes as I said before don't get me started started on the starter yeah pun intended um, I often do forget to put that starter in after I've taken it out so it's not unusual to get to the end of the build and uh, find a starter motor missing so hell I'd be a really good mechanic wouldn't I find parts missing after a job running gear parts not discovered still have one of those okay this is where it gets interesting we have no running gear down at the uh, rear end of the car mm -hmm. can you see it well, certainly I can't. What have I missed? Hmm, I'm wondering if that is that steering rack. Although it doesn't look... These 58, the bushes. Perhaps I'll just, just check out these bushes before we go too much further. Though, uh, they are fine. 60% he's fine 67 he's fine hmm <laughs> look I'm just uh, tempted to take that steering rack off just to um, just to check that out for the sake of uh, any inner and out of tie rod oops just click on the right one steering rack let's see what that steering rack comes up as 67 no he's going to be fine let's lock that back in running gear control and repair part not discovered well, he's only the one that's remaining he's going to be a pesky little critter do, 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 do. I know, I'm sure you're screaming at the screen right now saying it's this it's this and for the life of me I can't see it it's not uh, not your fuel pump or anything like that is it which I can't reach damn it we're gonna have to lower it so we actually are, are, are able to reach that fuel pump but I, I wouldn't have thought that the fuel pump would actually fall into that category Sixty percent? No, it's not a fuel pump. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Has to be at the front, doesn't it? Surely. So that spring over there. Let's have a quick. Uh, okay, well, I'll take it off then. If you're going to be that low, be like that. Spring is 25. I reckon we have a winner. <clears throat> That's what it was. Pesky little thing. I wonder why I actually didn't pick pick it up in the test path. I did actually run it through the test path before uh, uh, starting this video. So, hmm, interesting. Anyway, as I said, 58% is our number we're looking for. So we'll get these repaired up to that number. And we 
break, end up breaking a shitload of parts there, so we're going to have to b purchase uh, quite a lot. Uh, sort by condition, we've already got. Those are fine. Let's look at that gearbox. Yep, so some of those gearbox components are going to need replacing very, very quickly. Gearbox V8 OHV. So I've got a gearbox, flywheel, and pressure plate. Gearbox V8 OH Gearbox V8 OHV. Um, one of those. We'll make sure I get this right. Flywheel and pressure plate. Flywheel and pressure plate, and I think there's a bearing as well. Uh, bearing, flywheel. Didn't actually need that pressure plate, did we? He's at 60%, and again, our, our, our number is 58, so. Hmm. Oh, let's get rid of it just to clean up the inventory. Uh, exhaust brakes. This is our next thing we need to attention so we've got two pads two ventilated and a drum brakes two pads two ventilated and a drum and a shoe and a cylinder do, 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 do. where are we brake shoe and a cylinder to cylinder, get rid of those out of the brakes a section. Quite a bit in our uh, in this section here. Hmm, how are we going to break this down? Perhaps if we do what we have done in the past and just right in front, and every all the front components should come up. So we've got two springs, two caps. Let's start with those. Da -da -da -da. Front. Two springs, two caps. That'd be a good start. Let's get rid of those caps. And we actually didn't need those. No, oh, well, it is what it is. Sway bar fronting link B's. We certainly need those. Sway bar front end link B's. Two of those. Get rid of that. And two front wheel hubs. Front wheel hubs and if I remember correctly last time I actually um, bought, bought too many of those. Okay, okay, 58% stuff fine we've just done that okay let's go and come back to our running gear two front springs like so Let's get rid of those. I've got a funny feeling I've bought too many front springs, haven't I? I have to. Ah, done it. You're out of here. Two front exorbitant caps. Let's go front just to clean this up a little bit. No, it's not actually coming up. Okay, well, let's, let's leave it at that. Oh, they're rears, idiot. Okay. Well, I'll play your game and we'll go rear then. Rear shock absorber cap. Rear shock absorber caps. Two of those. One of the Rear axle knuckle housing B. So knuckle housing B. Knuckle housing B. Rear drive axle. Cool spring rear drive axle. course right at the top leaf spring rear I think it's a coil spring wasn't it let's have a look here let's not get that wrong coil spring it was a coil spring coil spring rear drive axle one of those uh, a solid rear drive axle now we only need one of those don't we solid rear drive axle Do solid rear drive axle and a rear shock absorber B, one of those. Okie dokie. 
in a tie rod one of those and that other one there is going to exceed our repair value of uh, 58 so in a tie rod so we come back to our tablet just go tie and one in a tie rod you're out of here we don't you want you anymore solid axle draw sorry solid axle control arm oh my goodness maybe if we write a uh, control there we go comes up straight away leaf spring u-bolt leaf spring u-bolt two of those i think there was from memory there was two and we are done <clears throat> time to get those parts back in and hopefully i'm not running over time like i have continually done in the past i always promise that oh it's only a 15 minute makeover we're done in 15 minutes but uh, yes but i mean what what mechanic doesn't go over time yeah all the i can hear all the mechanics like going off the tree already saying oh, i always try to keep my repairs under this time and i'll never charge i'll never overcharge and uh, i'll never do things where i'm not supposed to yeah right guys been around enough to uh, I always seem to find more problems than you go in for yeah I, I want this uh, battery terminal clean oh yeah we've got to take out your motor to do that yeah guys thank you very much but so yeah that's why it's important to in, in rule I find if you find a good mechanic guys uh, stick with them and uh, it's like a doctor I suppose if you're a doctor for your car effectively you find a good mechanic and they, uh, you find a, a good trustworthy one that won't uh, won't try to rip you off then uh, yeah stick with them they're uh, like rock and horse shit they're very hard to find so let's get that inner and outer tie rod on like so and the sway bars and we should be almost finished at this quarter I think this is the front wheel hub and uh, we can polish off this quarter fairly quickly like so brake pads calipers over the top of that and then the wheel on like so i wonder whether we can actually we can reach it there you go that's pretty cool saves us repositioning ourselves getting all these clutch components back in their home Now, because it's right in front of me, I'm not going to forget it this time. I'll put the starter on next, I think, just so I don't forget the damn thing. I think I have to keep reminding myself every every time I I do that because um, when I do remind myself, I don't don't actually miss it. And uh, when I um, when I don't remind myself, I actually miss it. So let's do this drive shaft while we're here as we um, slowly work, make our way down to the back end and get that. Uh, rear axle one and rear rear end components here the springs and uh, shockies and what have you we had to take that rear axle out he was he was completely shagged so he needed to be taken out and uh, a brand new one purchased uh, rear spring i didn't i thought i bought too many actually perhaps i bought front ones instead of rear ones it might be the same on this side too you know yep that's what it was i bought two front ones well four front ones instead of two fronts two rears so let's go back to uh, spring and two rears so my mistake oops my mistake guys but it happens so we should better get that rear spring and rear spring cap in it's not the best of camera angles let's come around here a little bit so we've got a better better picture get these rubber bushes it'll soon scream at you if you if you get those uh, rubber bushes on leaf springs we had to buy a brand new ones though didn't we a couple of them at least uh, the u-bolts well I better tighten that up before i put any other components on it won't let me uh, i was actually going for this uh, rear wheel cylinder here and uh, yeah it wouldn't actually let me up had to sort of think for a sec why wouldn't it let me any boy you gotta you gotta tighten up the nuts before you move on and uh, move up further on you idiot sort of funny how that works okay let's get this rear spring on this uh, notorious rear spring that um, we actually had to buy for the second time 
Uh, the U box going in. Oops. There we go. So again, if there's any particular things that you'd like to see in car mechanic, there, just give us a shout out, guys. I really appreciate that you, you drop by and, and say good day. And um, yeah, as I mentioned before, with the, the gaming community, yeah, drop drop by the uh, the Teamspeak, the Discord, uh, the uh, website. Uh, yeah, drop by, say good day. I'd love to hear from you. Rear wheel hub probably got too many of those. Okay, so the only thing that's remaining is to paint it in stock colours, which is pretty simple. We just take it over to the uh, the paint shop and we're able to paint it in their stock colours paint shop. Now the stock colours is um, is by default. You don't have to change anything. You just simply pay, click on paint car. And do you want a paint car for 500 bucks? Well, yes we do. Thank you very much for coming. Back to garage. And that should put it... Whoops. I should put it out in the middle so that we're able to have a look so we've got green lights across the board which is fantastic right across all the uh, the parts that need to repair and replace up to our 58 percent so uh you have facts and figures there but the the important one is the total earned earned of eight thousand one hundred and ninety one dollars all right guys thank you very much for your company i really do appreciate it and i look forward to it in the next one